come and discover the warmth and hospitality of Morris, home of the thrilling Manitoba Stampede. Nestled as the central hub on Highway 75, Morris is more than a town. It's a thriving nexus of business and community with new industrial opportunities ready to break ground. Join us and make Morris your next investment. A co-op is not a building. It's not a gas bar, a home center, or a food store. A co-op is a group of people working together to help each other. To feed, to fuel, to build community. This is where we work. This is where we live. This is who we are. We are early risers. We are trusted neighbors. We are committed to serving you. We are co-op. Paul Brandt Trucking, a chance meeting years ago that turned into an incredible friendship. Turns out we have the same name. Now that's something that doesn't happen every day. But as I've had the opportunity to work with this exceptional award-winning company, I've come to understand that there is something that happens every day with Morris Manitoba's Paul Brandt Trucking. They deliver quality. Paul Brandt Trucking has helped me to do business better. My trucking company of choice since they first appeared in the Convoy video, their world-class fleet and personnel literally keep the show on the road delivering our gear and stage production each and every night. Congratulations, Paul Brandt Trucking, on 50 years of traditional values, modern methods, and for service with excellence on every single run. We'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye-bye. Saving for your child's education doesn't need to be stressful. Access offers a wide range of investment options to help you and your family's future, like a registered education savings plan. With the flexibility to deposit any time throughout the year, you decide when and how much to contribute, making it easy to save for your child's education. Contact us today to start your savings plan so you can spend more time celebrating your child's future. Access Credit Union, where you need us to be. Welcome back, hockey fans. I'm your host, Bentley Brown, along with my cameraman, Josh Keck. And we're going to be underway here shortly from the Morris Multiplex with Game 2 of the MMJHL Finals. Twisters took Game 1 out in St. James by a score of 3-2. to two. And in that game, Riley Gertzen, he had two goals for the Penn Valley Twisters, along with Mark Paulette. 
had a goal. Tyrone William and Roy Neal were the goal scorers for the St. James Junior Canucks. And we'll look at the stats so far from both teams coming into this one. Merrick DeGrave still up on top for the Twisters, leading their points in the playoff series so far. He has 10 points, 3 goals, and 7 assists. As well as William leading for his team. And with that, he has 5 goals and 10 assists. Also, notably on that, risk, uh, on that list there, Ashton Romanuk, he is out for tonight's game, and he will not be in. Though also close there in the stats to watch out for it is the 26 of Bray Whiteley. He has three goals and six assists for a total of nine points, and also a guy who's just off m missing that list there of the top four for each team. Number 13, Griffin Hyatt on St. James. Also has nine points, that being three goals and six assists. And see Gertz in there climbing up for the Twisters. And right behind his captain, they're both tied with six points. And those two goals last night, or the other night there, helping him climb up in the points there. And he has three goals and three assists for six points. Twisters captain, Jacob Carrolls, he has six points, all assists. Meanwhile, the captain for the St. James Jr. Canucks, he has five goals and seven assists on throughout this playoff run for the Canucks, giving him a total of 12 points. And with that, the Zamboni's just leaving the ice and we'll get ready here and send you to the live video. And as we get ready here for the teams to take the ice, take a quick recap here and a look ahead at how the series has gone. As I mentioned there earlier, game one out in St. James by a score of three to two. And they'll be back there on April 9th for an 8 p.m. game. And I think those times are right. Those times on there might be wrong. Sorry about that for you. No, they are correct in that 19th game. If it does go to a game seven, that's a 7.30 start. I know that's not listed there. Uh, both teams so far, two power play opportunities for both teams in the last game. And both teams couldn't make anything to do with the man advantage. Talking about how they've been playing perfect hockey defensively here when we've seen outstanding goaltending throughout the series. And with that, as we come in to this game here, the Canucks trying to just clean up their gameplay a little bit. They had a bad bounce, kind of, that led to Gertson's goal, which was the go-ahead goal there late in that second period. Meanwhile, the Twisters trying to go and build some momentum off of their big win on the road in game one. And with that, the referees are out there on the ice, and the teams here are to follow. Quick look here at your star goaltenders as the Canucks take the ice. Starting in this one for the St. James Canucks, Noah Gilbert is getting the start. He's played all nine playoff games for his team. And he's a record of eight and one. Save percentage of 930, goals against average of nine or 223. Meanwhile, for the Twisters getting the start, Owen LaRock's getting the start after having a good showing in game one. 
and his stats coming into this one in his five games played he's 4-0 as the one game that he did not finish due to his injury and with that he has a save percentage of 971 a goals against average of 0 0.92 and the Canucks are out there ready for Okana just waiting now here for the twisters to hit the ice and we'll get your starters here for you And with that, we've got the teams here on the ice. We'll head to Canada, and we'll be with you shortly to following. And with that, here we got your starters in this one. Starting out for the Canucks. Roy Neal is going to be out there along with Aiden Bruce on the lines. Mason Vendell out there along well with Caden Osterman and Kale Price. Meanwhile, for the Twisters, they got Josh Guilford out there with Xander Carls. As well as Cohen Thomas on the lines, we got Jonathan Dick and Mike Hepner. And off the draw, Aiden Bruce, he'll get it back from his captain. And it is controlled here by the Canucks as they'll move it into the zone as Osterman. And digging at that loose puck here against the sideboards. They continue to work with it, picked up now by Guilford. Guilford plays it back to the defense. And Dick, he'll work it ahead ice. And a little bit off on that pass. That gets deflected in by Gil, by Guilford, and he'll work it to Thomas. And there's a quick shot by Van Dines, just wide of the net, working with it. And Osterman, he's trying to get it out of the zone. Quick shot there by Van Dines, and Guilford can't scoop that one up. Kale Price takes a whack at it, and that just skips out of the zone as Van Dines tried to play it back in. Twisters go back to corral that puck, and that skips over a couple sticks. Hard hit there behind the play and that gets cleared in by the twisters icing waved off hard rush there and it's picked up by 
Weeb. Weeb works it back to Van Dines and across at the line. There's a shot through traffic and that doesn't get through. Weeb, he'll play it low. Picked up now by DeGrave. DeGrave to Weeb. Weeb couldn't get a shot away. And now they'll work with it around behind the net. Canucks trying to get it out of their own zone after a quick push here from the Twisters to start the game. And Hyatt plays it in. The Rock, he waits. He works to, to Weeb. Weeb trying to play it ahead. He'll work it off the glass and out of the zone. Picked up by DeGrave. DeGrave, he'll play across to Jolker. Jolker trying to work it back to DeGrave. And Whiteley breaks that one up. Good defensive play there by the senior Canuck. Quick shot by Russell, save made, and the loose rebound picked up by the Twisters as Woods able to hold the zone play around behind the net. Twisters control it back to the point for Russell. Russell plays it ahead to Clark as he steps onto the ice. Now all the way back to Russell at the line. His shot and a blocker save on that opportunity there. Another save by Gilbert as he's been under siege here in the opening couple minutes. Shots 4-0 for Pemina Valley. Here's the opportunity though going the other way for William and the Canucks. And he couldn't get that across. Trying to find the 27 on that play. Twisters, they work around here in their own zone. For trying to get out on the near side. Clark trying to work it to Paulette. And the Canucks will be able to clear it in. Dick, he picks it up. He'll play it across to Wood. Wood off the boards and all the way down the ice off the stick of Van Dines. Cross side, he'll play it across to the 24 of the Canucks and off the stick of Grindle and into the zone it goes. On the chase, Twisters. They'll be the first ones back. They'll skip the, pick that puck up. Skips just over the net. They're hitting a Canuck in front. Van Dines picks it up. He's just Phillips to beat. And he got stuck there in the traffic from a great rush, that, or a great play by Grindle to come back and stop the attack of the Twisters. Hepner, now he'll work it, and he'll take his man down. Puck coming in there to center ice, and Gertzen, he'll play it in as he was one of the top players in the last game with two goals. Canucks trying to get it out of the zone. Hepner, he'll play it ahead to Gertzen as they don't get it past center ice. Phillips, he'll work it ahead. And that's picked off by Van Dines. Van Dines, he'll move it down low. And from Sutherland to Kyle Van Dines. Kyle Van Dines, his shot through traffic. Sutherland couldn't get a stick on Van Dines. Another shot, save made as I was right at the pad of the goalkeeper and not much of a challenge and save for Gilbert to make. Twisters dangerously trying to move that puck along the line as it's off a stick of a Canuck. And the Twisters are just going to play it in and go for a change. And Jordy are trying to play that one in and he can as he bounces off the hit. Phillips works it into the zone. Sobe in there on the rush in front of the net. Picked up though by Van Dines. Van Dines trying to work it to Cohen Thomas. Picked up by Xander Carroll. So here comes Carroll's up the far side. He'll play it into the zone and continue to give chase against Neal. Mason Vendel. He can't pick that one up. And Cohen Thomas, he'll work it around behind the net. And skips over the stick of Josh Guilford. Dick or Wood came in to play it. And now picked up by Wood. Wood walking in. He fires. Deflected in front. Twisters put it just over the net. Still working with the down low. Chase Sobe. He'll work it. Trying to get it out of the zone. DeGrave picks it up though and plays it back to Wood at the blue line. Now down low back to DeGrave. DeGrave working with the puck. He's going to move it around. And back to Russell. Russell is shot through traffic. And that's wide of the net. Continuing now to work with the here is the Twisters. Around at the blue line, and they run into some of their own traffic there, and that comes all the way out of the zone. They got to go. A hard rush by Mason Vandell chasing down that puck. And he gets pinned against the boards, picked up by the Canucks in front, jamming at it. And the goaltender doesn't know where it is, and the Canucks strike first. And a breakdown by the Twisters in their own zone. And at 14.47, it's the Canucks up. By a score of one to nothing on a goal from Mason Vandal. And The Rock just didn't know where the puck was. And they're set off the draw. Twister is trying to get back in this game after heavily out shooting the Canucks early on, and they get charged here with an icing.
Shot 7-2 in favor of Pema Valley. It's a 1-0 Junior Canucks lead here early on. And off the draw. Canucks, they play that in off a couple sticks from the blue line. Mason Vendell, he tries to center that in front. Pick it up on his stick. All is dangerous here for the Canucks. As now Neil picks it up. Neil walking through traffic, shoots, and he scores. And it's a quick 2-0 lead for the Canucks. Not even five minutes in. And nice play there by Vandell. Works it to Neil, and Neil finds the back of the net. So Neil from Mason Vandell. At 5.39, and the Twisters give two quick ones up. As Brothos Hill, he'll play it into the zone. And the Twisters work it right back out. Again, misplaying it, and the Canucks clear it into the zone. Twisters played around behind the zone, and Carroll Hill skates that. Still working with it. Clark picks it up. Clark on the far side. He walks into the zone around behind the puck. Still working with it is Bergman, now Clark down low. Bergman, now he'll play it all the way down to Platt. Platt picks it up around behind the net. And he fires from a tough angle there. That's off a couple Canucks, and here come the Canucks. They got a chance for three to go the other way, but the Twisters come back as Butler plays it in. A little bit of a tired group out there for the Canucks. Einerson now with the puck on his stick. His shot through traffic blocked by Sutherland. Rebound blocked again. Another shot dangerously in front of LaRock. And the Twisters working on the near side, trying to get it out of the zone. Picked up by Gertzen. Gertzen walks in, waits, fires, and holding on for the whistle. Bring us a stoppage in play is Gilbert. So two quick goals by the Canucks. Have them up 2 nothing. Just about seven minutes into this one. Shots are 8-5 in favor of the Pemina Valley Twisters. Quick shot off the draw, just wide of the net by Russell. And Van Dyne still working around behind the net. Twisters jamming at it in front and couldn't get it in on net. Another miscommunication there by the Twisters, picked off by the Canucks. And the, the Twisters lucky there to get back in it as Russell plays it in all the way around, out of the reach of Gilbert to Van Dyne's. Van Dyne's, he'll work it back to Gertzen, and Gertzen plays it there again. Van Dyne's couldn't pick it up as he was a little bit slow, a little bit of, again, Twisters. Having some miscommunication, the flash of the leather on that shot from Sutherland bringing a stoppage in play as they're just putting pucks in front and no one there to pick them up. And we got an update there on the scoring. I had Bray Whiteley and Kale Price on the assist on the opening goal for the Junior Canucks. Off the draw, a quick shot by the Twisters just wide of the net. Controlling it now down low off a couple of sticks. It'll picked up by Weeb. He'll work it to DeGrave. DeGrave back to the point. Hepner has shot through traffic and holding on through that traffic is Gilbert. Bring us a stoppage in play. Here's a look at that. And again, Twisters, though, jumping right on it. And with traffic in front, Gilbert sees it all the way. You know how much I like talking about jumping on a team after a goal and getting them flat footed. That's definitely worked well for this Canucks team early on. Though the Twisters getting pucks to Gilbert still. Haven't been able to solve him yet early on as, Gil as Dick plays it into the zone. Picked up by Neil. Neil behind his net. And he'll play it ahead. Still working with it. And now into the zone, the puck goes. And centering that in front, that jumped up and a nice save holding on to it is the rock on the opportunity from Carter Jordy.
Canucks changing up their lines here as Kale Price skates in for the draw. And the Twisters beat him on the draw. Bouncing puck, Van Mason Vandal, I think, lost his stick or Wetley couldn't exactly see the number there. But the font off the draw. Carroll's he'll work it ahead and breaking that one up is Aiden Bruce. Cohen Thomas, he'll kick it into the zone. Canucks trying to clear it out on the near side. Van Dyne, he plays it in just wide of the net. Across now to Aiden Bruce. Aiden Bruce, he'll play it back. And now ahead to Mason Vandell. Mason Vandell coming up on the near side. He'll pull that all the way around behind the net. Now come back to his side. On the near side, picked up by the Twisters. Cohen Thomas, he'll play it in. Guilford giving chase. Canucks controlling as Price scoops up that loose puck. And he'll send it down. Russell picking up his own blue line to Guilford. Guilford gets it right back after he went off a of Canuck. And Price, he'll roll that puck into the zone. William first back. He is center of that one. No one there for the Canucks and the Twisters. Are just a little bit off on that pass, trying to get it out of the zone to Clark. Phillips plays it in on the near side before going for a change of the lock. He'll leave it back. Canucks, or Twisters, work it out on the far side, going through traffic as Paulette. And he just ran out of space there, and it's picked off. And now into the zone, here come the Canucks. Centering to Willian, and he couldn't get a shot away. As Payson Butler played it in, another one of the big pickups for the Canucks. Anderson from the line, he'll play it across. There's a shot, gets past the rock, just wide of the net from Bruce. And the Twisters are able to clear it out of the zone. Whiteley now with it. He'll play it across to Anderson. Working it up on the near side off the stick of Payson Butler and into the zone as we enter the back half of the opening frame. Hepner trying to get it out. That's gloved down by a Canuck and picked off by a Twister. And here come the Twisters going the other way. Gertzen with the puck on his stick. Gertzen walks in, fires, save. Rebound and the Twister score. And they are right back in this one, cutting the lead in half. A good hustle from Gertzen. And finding the back of the net is Hepner splitting the lead in half. And here's a quick look at the replay. And a hard work there. Gertzen picks it up and it'll be Van Dynes on the assist. So Mike Hepner with the goal from Riley Gertzen. And Alex Van Dines, I think, as he'll stand off the draw, that puck comes right in on Gilbert. Canucks now from behind their own net. Working on the near side. Sobe, he'll get past one man. Jordy plays it in, and the Twisters just send it right back into the Canucks zone on the near side, and that gets played in off the net. Bring a stoppage in play. Time is 9-12 to go in the frame. It's 11 Six are the shots affair of the Panama Valley Twisters. They find themselves down two to one. So far in this hockey game, and we thank you all for joining us. I'm your host, Bentley Brandt, along with my cameraman, Josh Jack, and off the draw, Twisters win it. Sobe, though, works it into the zone for St. James. Carroll's, he'll play it across to Van Dynes on the near side, and off the stick of Bruce, and... Couldn't find the puck as it bounced up towards the Twisters' blue line. Carroll, he'll get it out of the zone. Off a couple of sticks. Bergman now. He'll chase it. And Clark, he'll play it right to Bergman. Bergman walks into the slot. Fire save made by Gilbert on that shot. And tired Bergman couldn't get as much as he wanted there on that shot as he goes for a change. Meanwhile, Van Dynes, he'll play it around dangerously behind his net to the other Van Dynes here on the Twisters. And that gets scooped up and played in by Sobe. And Van Dynes, he lays a little bit of a high hit there as he scoops up the puck, works it to Weeb. Now to Jolliker on the far side. Trying to get that to Weeb. And that gets picked off by the Canucks. Now Phillips, he'll turn that over to Jolliker. And Jolliker works through some traffic. Russell plays it on net and it won't make it there with the traffic in front. DeGrave around behind the net, playing it to Weeb. Weeb now digging it out from down low. Getting guarded by a couple Canucks. To Russell, his shot. 
and trying to deflect it in front is DeGrave, and we got a stoppage in play here at 7.52 as Gilbert saw the puck the whole time. So the Twisters recently break the ice for themselves in this one and are able to get the game to within a one goal difference on a good hustle by Gertzen and a nice goal by Hepner in return as Xander Carroll gets waved from the draw and in comes Cohen Thomas to take on Kale Price and Thomas beats Price in off the draw. Picked up by Osterman and the Canucks on their breakout, picked up by the Twisters. Twisters deflected in as Guilford and Xander Carroll's pressuring Whiteley. Whiteley to the safety behind his net. He'll wait. He's got Anderson splitting across with Mason Vendell going the other way as well as Osterman finding him. And a quick jump by the Twisters and they picked that up far just wide and Xander Carroll's started wreaking some havoc there on Whiteley and a dangerous opportunity for the Twisters. Working on the near side, trying to get that to Mason Vandell. Cohen Thomas with a great forecheck, working it to Guilford, and Guilford gets tangled up with a Canuck as they hit the ice. Guilford and Ironson still working with it as Ironson gets back up. Around behind the net to Cohen Thomas, and he loses an edge. And the Canucks trying to get it out of the zone. Whiff on that puck, and now it's on their stick. But Xander, or played right in, by Van Dines to Xander Carroll's. Carroll's trying to center that. He got taken out of the play. Alex Van Dines with the puck on his stick. He's assisting tonight's game. And Cohen Thomas, he'll pick up that loose puck on a quick chase. Put it around behind the net. First one back there is Carroll Price. He'll work to Mason Vandell. And Mason Vandell, he brushes off the hit. Twisters pick it up. Uh, quickly coming in onto the ice is Gertzen. Uh, as his speed has helped the Twisters get back into this one. Aiden Bruce plays it around behind the net and trying to clear it out is the Canucks. Kyle Van Dyne still played into the zone, 6.05 on the clock. Payson Butler trying to work it on the near side. He'll play it ahead to Griffin, high eight. Canucks got three, walking in, high eight. Plays it across and no one home except Gertzen got his stick on it. So his hard hustle helping him as a great two-way player. And meanwhile, Neil plays it down low as the Canucks still have the pressure on. Working around behind the net. Back to Neil. Neil is shot through traffic. That gets blocked by Sutherland, who skates a little bit gingerly after that one. And the Twisters, they got the puck on their stick here in the defensive zone. Van Dyne's he'll work it ahead to Gertzen. Gertzen plays it into the zone before going for a change, giving chase to Sutherland. Hyatt on the near side. He'll clear it into the zone. William giving chase along with the number 20 there of Grindle. Twisters playing it into the attack zone. Grindle will pick that puck up and kind of misplaced it there as Platt plays it back for the Twisters. Twisters regain control with that nice play by him off the stick of Clark into the zone. Platt watching his men as Grindle picks the puck up and He'll dodge a hit into the zone, comes, Einer, comes Thorson, and he'll play that dangerously in front, trying to glove that down was the rock, and he couldn't. It's picked up by the Twisters there, down Canuck behind the play. Platt walking in and holding on for a whistle. Bring a stoppage in play is the Canucks goalkeeper as Gilbert. Again, just calmly staying there and holding on for a whistle. Here's a shot update with 4.39 on the clock. Shots are 14 to 6 in favor of the Pemmon Valley Twisters. It was a quick start to the Canucks. Shot just wide of the net, dangerously in front. Goaltender couldn't cover. Jolker, he'll play it down low for Weeb. Weeb has shot, and that's off a of Canuck sticking out of play, and we got some extra curricular activity following the whistle. As Weeb getting into it with Mason Vandell and a couple other Canucks. As Gilbert now, he'll get ready for the draw, coming to his right. Twisters win, they work it back to Dick. Dick, he'll play it to Weeb. Weeb, his shot, and the easy save made on that opportunity. Weeb trying to center that puck, skips up and picked up now by Vandell. Mason Vandell into the zone. And off the skate of Weeb and out. 
Cleared in by Whiteley and a little bit of a collision there with Jolker. Behind the net, here come the Twisters and that gets bad off the Canuck stick and finds the stick of Merrick DeGrave. Well, he'll work it ahead and the Twisters come into the zone. Across to Weeb. Weeb waits before he fires and save made on that opportunity. Another save made from Van Dyne's shot. Still working with it as Weeb as he gets a couple Canucks get taken down as Price falls on the puck. Still digging at it. And controlled by Merrick DeGrave. He'll work it in tight for Weeb. Off the stick of Price. There's a quick shot by the Twisters. And that one was just wide on a great opportunity. Going there for Jacob Carroll's. Carroll's another shot on that. And that gets deflected off the stick of Weeb. And holding on for the save again. Making that pad save is Gilbert as the Canucks. Trying to calm matters down here. As they'll play that in on the rock with 3.10 to go in the opening frame. Canucks getting heavily outshot, but in the lead by one as they pick up that puck on a great four check. Younger, he'll work it back to the line. That shot just wide the net. Chase Sobey picks it up, tries to center it, and a couple of players collide. Behind the play, and Cohen Thomas, he gets taken out by Neal. On the near side, Jordy, he tries to work it out of the zone. And Van Dines, he'll try and chop that off Sobey's stick. Sobey, he'll work it in to Younger, Younger. He ran into traffic there and too many bodies in front, couldn't do anything with it. Phillips, he'll calm it down at the red line and play it in from half. Twisters trying to work it on the far side. That gets deflected in by Guilford Gertz and giving chase as the Twisters go for a much needed change. Try and get a fresh set of legs out there. Meanwhile, Griffin High 8, he'll go the other way and he needs to hold up as there's a big hit getting lined up there on him by Wood, and Wood trying to work it out of the zone. And that puck just scoops up as William plays it in. Twisters in their own zone. They'll work it cross ice before playing it in off the stick of Alex Van Dynes. And gloved and held with Gertzen staring down. Gilbert on the play. 151 here in the opening frame. And what was a quick scoring affair in this one by the Canucks. Twisters bowed back and got one of their own. As Gilbert prepares for the faceoff to his left. The grave in and he'll beat Hyatt on the draw. Quick shot by Dick and that gets blocked and comes into the netting right in front of us here in the booth. And we got a stoppage in play. And Payson Butler hobbling a little bit there on the Canucks benches. You can see down low there in the bottom of your screen. And we'll keep an eye on him as he goes back to get checked out by the trainer. Working it now to Dick. And he gets rubbed out of the play. Nice play there by the Canucks. Hepner, he'll play it right into the zone all the way around behind the net. Mason Vendell going to scoop it up. Whiteley, he'll work it the other way. Clark. Good hustle by him, and he'll play it back to the line to Hepner. Hepner, he got a stick tied up. And Dick works it the other way, right in front of Kale Price. Clark digging at it. Still working there, right in front of the Twisters penalty box. And it gets cleared in. Dangerous play by The Rock. And the Twisters trying to work it out of the zone. Whiteley, though, he fires into the shin pads of Poet as we enter the final minute here of the opening frame. Clark picks it up, and he'll just send it on ice as he goes for a change, and it's going to be an icing, and he's arguing that with the linesman who was right in front of him. But the linesman who was a little bit, or she was a little bit behind the play, did not get it, the angle that Clark wanted as he argues his case. Meanwhile, off the draw of the frozen biscuit, Dick works it around trying to get it to Clark and played in at the line by the Canucks. Canucks holding it at the line as Whiteley. He'll scoop in and play across ice. Down low, Younger trying to get a shot away. And into the flood of Twisters in front. Twisters ice that one all the way down, and they won't argue this one with 33.2 seconds on the clock.
Twister is now here in a defensive posture as Hyatt comes in on the draw. On the tie up, Canucks control. William back to Whiteley. Whiteley is shot through traffic and that gets blocked off of the skate of Brett Bergman, it looked like. And here come the Twisters getting it out of the zone. Bergman through traffic and that will end at the hands of William. Hyatt into the zone, trying to get a quick late goal as William walks in. Back and forth, they score! And it's the Canucks doing just so with the late goal in this one. As so William finds the back of the net. Or Neil correction there, his second of the game. Here's a look at the replay as Hyatt works it back to William and Neil was the first one out of there, so I don't exactly know who got the goal. Wow. Uh, we'll give you the update on that come air mission here and off the draw, that's what will follow unless we got some extra physical activity, but no, both teams staying to their own sides. And we got some praise here coming from the Canucks fans with that late goal at the end of 20. It's the St. James Canucks leading the Pemba Valley Twisters by a score of 3-1. to one. And the shots are 19-7 to seven in favor of the Pemba Valley Twisters. And with that, we'll give you your scoring update here through the opening frame. There was a quick start in this one for the Canucks, striking five minutes and 13 seconds in. Mason Vandell, his fourth of the year from Brady Whiteley and Kale Price. Roy Neal from Mason Van, from Matthew Mason Vandell again. And that was a two, is a quick two nothing lead for the Canucks and those goals coming only 26 seconds apart. Mike Hepner. Got the Twisters on the board from Raleigh Gertzen and Alex Van Dines at 10.27. And then with 6.2 seconds left, Roy Neal got his 10th of the playoffs. Second of the game from Tyrone Willian and Cole Younger. And also an update there, that was Mike Hepner as his third goal of the playoffs. And with that, I'm your host, Billy Brandt. We'll send you to commercial break, and we'll see you here shortly. It's the Canucks leading the Twisters 3-1 after 20. Come and discover the warmth and hospitality of Morris, home of the thrilling Manitoba Stampede. Nestled as the central hub on Highway 75, Morris is more than a town. It's a thriving nexus of business and community, with new industrial opportunities ready to break ground. Join us and make Morris your next investment. Co-op is not a building, it's not a gas bar, a home center, or a food store. A co-op is a group of people working together to help each other. To feed, to fuel, to build community. This is where we work, this is where we live, this is who we are. We are early risers, we are trusted neighbors, we are committed to serving you. We are co-op. Paul Brandt Trucking, a chance meeting years ago that turned into an incredible friendship. Turns out we have the same name. Now that's something that doesn't happen every day. But as I've had the opportunity to work with this exceptional award-winning company, I've come to understand that there is something that happens every day with Morris Manitoba's Paul Brandt Trucking. They deliver quality. Paul Brandt Trucking has helped me to do business better. My trucking company of choice since they first appeared in the Convoy video, their world-class fleet and personnel literally keep the show on the road delivering our gear and stage production each and every night. Congratulations, Paul Brandt Trucking, on 50 years of traditional values, modern methods, and for service with excellence on every single run. We'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye-bye. Saving for your child's education doesn't need to be stressful. Access offers a wide range of investment options to help you and your family's future, like a registered education savings plan, 
With the flexibility to deposit any time throughout the year, you decide when and how much to contribute, making it easy to save for your child's education. Contact us today to start your savings plan so you can spend more time celebrating your child's future. Access Credit Union, where you need us to be. Oh! 
And here come the Pembina Valley Twisters as they take the ice. Canucks ready to go already. They're ready out here trying to build on. But they are going late in that period. They started off quick with the scoring and found a nice goal with 6.6 .6 seconds to go. 6.62 to be exact. And that's part of just the hard hustle there of Roy Neal and Tyrone William to get that one done. As Roy Neal, he ends the first frame with two goals. Another goal scorer here for the Canucks was Mason, was Mason, Matthew Mason Vandell, excuse me on that one, who opened the scoring here up. Mike Kepner has the lone goal for the Pembina Valley Twisters. And with that here, we'll get you underway. Kale Price in on the draw against Xander Carrolls. And Carrolls will win that one back to the point for the Twisters. And they'll work that in. They don't get the deflection at the line. And they're going to get charged with the icing. As is mentioning here before Roy Neal. Two goals in that opening frame. 
Matthew Mason Vandell had the other one for the Canucks. Mike Kepner with the lone twister goal. As Kale Price and his crew get ready to go here in the attack zone to start off the second period. Off the draw, Hepner trying to get it out. And he gets runs into some pressure here as Whiteley tries to work it in at the line. And he'll work that all the way around behind the net. Still working for that loose puck down low, picked up by Hepner. And still pressured a lot by Price. He drew a penalty. And we're going to see if we can get that here on the replay. And there's the ref's hand went up. I didn't really see it on that replay there on what he called. But he got a Canuck. He got Kale Price there. I think that that's going to be on a high stick. I thought maybe a hold there. So Kale Price a little bit too physical down low. Twisters get the opening power play of the game. Both teams 0 for 2 so far on the power plays in the series. Twister's working it back to DeGrave. DeGrave back to the point. Across. Waiting is Weeb. Weeb waits, fires through traffic just wide of the net. Still working with it. Twister's played across off the stick of DeGrave. Down low, back to DeGrave. Across to Weeb. Weeb, he'll get it right back. Holding it at the line, and that's going to skip over the stick of Kalen Russell as he falls on the puck, and he plays it ahead on the hand pass, and that's going to bring us a stoppage in play. And as the puck comes out of the zone, your power play stats here. Sponsored by Rempel Insurance, Twisters, their power play percentage is 11.1 .1 coming into tonight in the playoffs. A penalty kill, 82.9% for the junior Canucks. Quickly into the zone. Hepner, he'll try and work it back. And the Twisters controlling down low. Back to the point for Sutherland across to Bergman. Bergman, his shot gets deflected off a stick and into the netting. Bring us the stoppage in play at 18. 28-9. And off the draw, Twister's control. Trying to roll it when that went back and bad turn over there for them. As Bergman picks it up now and the Twisters come into the zone with three. Bergman, he'll make it past a couple lines of Canucks. And doesn't do though much with the puck, trying to set something up as the Twisters. But again, great play there by Chase Sovey. Another good pickup at the trade deadline for the Canucks, as we mentioned before. He'll get it out of the zone, clearing 25 seconds remaining on the power play. And Van Dyne, he just overscared the puck. Then the Canucks again able to clear. Kyle Van Dyne's, and I'll get played off the stick of DeGrave and back to Kyle Van Dyne's. Van Dynes walks in, waits, fires, and holding on for, uh, no, that did not. Uh, it's hard to see here from the angle. I thought maybe Guilford gloved it, but no one into the netting, and that'll bring it out, of the, keep it in the zone here. It's got deflected. Three seconds remaining on the man advantage for Pemna Valley. And off the draw, Twisters win it back. Quick shot on net and holding on for a whistle as the power play has expired is Gilbert. Make shots this period one to nothing in favor of the Twisters. And as they do the face off again, Twisters win it. They'll work that in off a couple sticks, picked up by Jogger into the slot and a quick shot there by Wee, but again right into the pad of Noah Gilbert. Walking in was Dick taking a shot and Payson Butler got the better of that one, coming down to block that shot. Canucks now on the rush, working it the other way in the attack zone. Off a couple sticks, gloved down by Neal at the line, and gloved in front by William, and dangerously off a twister stick in front. And the Canucks had to wait there on the line change before playing it back in. And Jalker sends that all the way down, Icing waved off, 
And to the displeasure there of the head coach for the Canucks, Twister's clear right back in and they take a hard hit in return as Neil Hill worked that in, trying to get it ahead and he'll get to William off of Jolliker. And William into the zone gets called at offside at the line, bringing a stoppage in play here at 16.27. And now the Canucks. Boss man can share all the words he wants to with the linesmen as they can set for the draw in front of his bench. Carroll's now. He'll work it across. And the Twisters can't get it out of the zone off of Canuck. Canuck's got a tag up at the line, and the Twisters scoop up that loose puck instead. Van Dyne's into the zone. Cal Van Dyne's working around down low. Brushes off a couple of hits. There's a quick shot on that. Gilbert made the save. Couldn't find the rebound, but the Canucks had it. And getting it out of the zone is Younger. He'll center that one and played off a couple of sticks. Cole Younger, he'll glove that down. He's assist in tonight's game. Picked up by Jolliker. Jolliker on the near side. He'll play it around behind the net. No Gilbert goes out to work it out. And in the skirmish against the far boards. Still continuing. And the Canucks possess the puck. They'll work it around. And trying to get it out, that skips off a Twisters player into their own bench. Bring us a stoppage in play here at 15.34. Shots this period are still 2-0 in favor of the Pembina Valley Twisters. Uh, Sutherland rolls into the draw. And Van Dyne still work it across. Played by Wood off the stick of Gertzen to Sutherland to Gertzen fires and couldn't get a shot away. Sutherland down in the crease. Quick shot just wide of the net. Back to Wood. Wood. And he'll play it just wide of the net. That's a good defensive work there. Someone in tight able to get Gertzen out of the play. Back to Wood. Wood plays it across at the line. And that shot gets blocked. Nice move there by Magnum Grindle with the block shot, and now he comes ahead, but gets called at the line, and there's some extra activity continuing here to follow with some getting the physicality going in this game as both teams try and turn it up here in the playoffs, in this finals here. So Twister's continuing here in this frame to get shots on net, but not too much high scoring opportunities coming their way. Off the draw, Twister's on the near side. Play that up, gloved down by Kale Price. He gets bumped off the puck by Paulette. Osterman plays it into the zone, Dick picks it up. Jonathan Dick with the puck on his stick. Off the boards and works it into the feet of Aiden Bruce. And Osterman passed Aiden Bruce, picked up now by Dick and Hepner has it skip over his stick. And he'll turn it over to Mason Vandell, who turns it over to Clark. Clark clears it nicely as that rainbows in off of William. William gloves that ahead, able to get a stick on it, and Twisters play that in offside on Bergman. And Clark's line goes for a change. As the Twisters get Merrick to Grave, Weeb and Jolikers line out there. Off the win, big hit there by Jacob Carroll's down low in Osterman. In tight come the Canucks. Canucks work it back to the point. That skips off their stick. Evading Bruce Neal back to Bruce. Bruce on the near side. He'll clear it in. Osterman giving chase after icing waved off. And a nice play there by Bergman as they had to watch the dangerous and centering opportunity to Kale Price. On the near side, Bergman getting worked against Price. And the Canucks send that ice wide into the zone. Icing waved off, off the skate of William and the Twisters clear it the other way. Picked up by Neal at his own blue line as his team stretched the ice surface here. And William tips that ahead before falling down. Picked up by Neil. Neil plays it in as William has to tag. Van Dynes. Long saucer pass. 
And that gets picked off by Brady Whiteley. Whiteley, he'll play that across and into the zone come the Canucks. Cole Younger trying to work it back. Picked up by the Twisters. Here come the Twisters going the other way. Russell, quick shot, save, rebound, just wide. Still working with it around behind the net. Back to Wood. Wood, he'll play it down low. <coughs> and we got a nice thing there. We got the stoppage in play. Because <coughs> I try and catch my breath here. Sorry about that. Twelve twenty-eight on the clock. As Southern rolls in for the draw, he'll win it to Gertzen out of Sutherland. Sutherland he'll brush his man off the puck. Canucks controlling on the near side. And Osterman, he'll play that all the way down, and that'll be an icing break. No, hard rush there, and the Rock holds on for a whistle. So they thought it was going to be icing, but Griffin Hyatt had other plans. Off the draw, Twisters work it out of the zone that skips up around off the stick of the Canucks before working across to Phillips. And Bertha, so he'll play that across off the, his own man and into the zone. The Rock turns it over to Kale Price in front, and that hit looked like a dick in front. He blocked that one. Big block for the Twisters there. Quick shot through traffic by the Canucks, bouncing puck in front. Twisters, they get their stick on it. It's Clark. Clark on the near side. And he'll split the D. Walks in. Centers. Couldn't get a shot away or any opportunity to get one set up. As Hepner plays that across, and the Twisters played into the zone. 11 20 counting here on the clock. And in the tie up, the Canucks will come out with the puck. Watched dangerously by a couple of twisters, and Kale Price picks it up. Here comes Price. He's got two twisters defending. Across to Mason Vandell, left all alone. Puck bounced up in front and continues to skip wide of the net. For Van Dyne, tries to calm it down, and the all-dangerous Neal takes a shot. Roy Neal just put it wide of the net. Picked up by Chase Sobey. He'll play back to the point. Canucks with the pressure on. Neal waits. Goes across, and quick shot in on net. And holding on for the whistle is the Rock on the opportunity by Carter Jordy. And here's a look at what started it all off. Kale Price, his rush, and playing it across on the breakaway for Matthew Mason Vandell, trying to find his second of the night. Canucks off the draw. They'll work that around behind the net. Picked up by Hepner. Hepner trying to work it to Jalker. And nice play there by Neal holding the line. Across, quick shot. And Noah Rock trying to get some confidence back. Holds on for a whistle. Off the draw, Dick, he'll work it around and he'll play that right into the netting, bring us a stop to Jim Play. Off the draw, Canucks, 
quick across to Neil and a quick opportunity there on that quick shot. As The Rock looks at his stick, making the stick save on that opportunity from Neil and tight. Happening around behind the net, trying to work it to Guilford. Guilford, he'll play it to Hyatt. Off a couple sticks there and the Twisters pick it up. And here comes Cohen Thomas as the Twisters finally relieving some pressure here from the defensive zone as it comes into the back half of the period. Canucks walk over the line, waiting, looking all the way around behind the net, quick shot and the Rock got enough of that one. Back to Bray Whiteley and Co and that gets broken up there off the stick of Thomas and Wood and Neal going after it after the whistle. And that's going to come out of the zone here as the Twisters change up their defensive pairing. Grindel now getting pressured by Weeb. Weeb walking in, playing it across, and a nice saucer pass, but couldn't get a stick on it. The hard hit there on the play by DeGrave as Weeb comes right back with it. Weeb, he gets taken down, trying to work it to DeGrave. Quick shot by Jolker, and he had some bodies in front. DeGrave plays it into the zone and around down low. Pass Weeb to, to Carroll's. Carroll's trying to center that loose in front. There's another quick shot save made on that opportunity by Gilbert. Twisters hold it back to Carroll's. Carroll's waits. Center shot through traffic there by Jacob Carroll's, and that won't go. Still working with it. And Weeb gets taken out of the play there on that hit. Walking into the zone. The other way, quick shot by Whiteley, and that goes up over the netting and bring us a stoppage in play off a of twister and come into the zone here on the faceoff. 8.37 on the clock. Shots are 23 to 10 in favor of the Pan Valley Twisters. Hepner now working it in off the draw. In the skirmish down low, back to Aiden Bruce. Bruce tries to clear it in front off a couple sticks. And Osterman plays it right back in. Still working with it, and that shot just wide of the net. Clark trying to get it out. Bruce holds it at the line, and no, oh, sneaks by him to Pallette. Pallette all alone. Here comes Mark Pallette, fires and rings that off the post. He had one in the game number one, tried to get his first of tonight's game. Now Bergman working through traffic deflected just wide of the net off a of twister stick. Twisters they're working back here around the blue line as they get some life before playing it in and getting charged with that icing though at 748. Twister is tagging up now and ready to go at the other end of the ice. Off the draw. Twisters win that one. On the near side, Gertzen trying to get it out, working out with Whiteley. Continuing with it. Brady Whiteley, his shot through traffic. Loose in front. And The Rock just pushes it more into the corner. Where William will work it right back to Whiteley and across. To Einerson. His shot through traffic, and that was just wide of the net. Whiteley trying to get his stick on it. And the Canucks, they'll play that along to the other side of the ice where the Twisters are able to clear. Gertzen can't get a contact on that stick and it, on that puck, and it's going to be icing at 7-16. Shots was period four for the Pemina Valley Twisters. Meanwhile, four also for the Canucks. Hyatt getting ready in the circle, taking on Bergman and the Twisters. 
controlling here in the defensive zone to start off off the draw. And Gertzen plays it in at the line and icing waves. And Gilbert, he runs into some trouble there with the Twisters pressuring. And Weeb now working it off a couple sticks, trying to get it down low against Einerson. And they work it out to William. William walking at the line. Back to Whiteley, pulling it across, and that's a turnover. Picked up by DeGrave. DeGrave walking in, and he'll fire that one just wide of the net. And that'll come all the way out to Wood. Wood plays it ahead, and the Twisters played into the zone, bring a stoppage in play. Controlled now here by the Canucks. Canucks, they'll clear that one all the way down. Glove down, and a couple Twisters collide. And William will play it into the zone before running into Hyatt. And off the stick of the Twisters into the zone. Good chase there by Jolliker and along with Wood. And here comes Wood. He'll try and work that in front. And off a couple of bodies now picked up by Jolliker. Jolliker, he'll send that to DeGrave. DeGrave gets taken out. Russell plays it across. And the Twisters play it in. And a big collision there near the end boards. And we got a stoppage in play. And here's that collision that they want to want to look at. There'll be in the top part of your screen. And camera just kind of missed it there as it flipped back. Five fifty-six here on the clock. Uh, Sutherland in on the draw, and he'll win that back to the point. Carroll says quick shot that gets blocked, and that's off of. Mason Vandell or Chase Solby? I can't see that Solby there who's limping behind the play. And there's an icing. Solby's also going to get in his needed change. As another injured Canuck. Was saying that I'm pretty sure I said Aiden Bruce's name. And yeah, he looked pretty like he's doing better. Off the draw, Canucks trying to be able to get it out of the zone. Twisters play right back in. Canucks controlling on the near side. They'll work it across in the defensive zone. Trying to get it out. And Phillips will play it ahead to Price. And that skips up off the stick of Osterman. Osterman staying with it. And his shot on net off a couple sticks off the glass. And Owen Larock holds on for a whistle. And Kale Price set it against Xander Carroll's in the circle. And the frozen disc of rubber is dropped. Dick Hill worked it around to Cohen Thomas. And Cohen Thomas, he'll brush off a hit, get the puck out of the zone. Will And Neil, he'll work it ahead, off a couple sticks to Willian, back to Osterman. And Osterman, he'll get picked off on that pass by Josh Guilford as the two 18s stare each other down and into the zone. The puck goes off the stick of Cohen Thomas. Hepner now with a great back check, and he'll work that ahead off a couple sticks. Now Hepner with it in his own zone, pulling it across, and deflected in by Cohen Thomas, but just a step behind, and uh, it won't not be icing. as a good hustle by the Twisters, waved it off. Twisters can't hold up the blue, and here's a dangerous opportunity. Osterman, he's got Price, and broken up by, Ke by Cohen Thomas, as we talked about great players coming back there, and Cohen Thomas. Now doing it after we saw Gertzen earlier on in the frame. And now here, Cohen Thomas works it at Guilford. Guilford through traffic, and he puts it just wide of the net. Canucks working around behind the net. Trying to get it out of the zone. 4.15 on the clock. Now Osterman stays with that pressure by DeGrave. And now Osterman trying to kick it ahead to Whiteley at the point. Twisters pick it off off a couple of Twister sticks. And the Twisters send that all the way down. Icing waved. Good hustle there by Weeb. Off a couple Canuck sticks. Still working with it. DeGrave trying to play out ahead and bouncing puck ends up here on the stick of Griffin Hyatt. Hyatt walks in and he'll fire that one right at Russell. Russell picks up the rebound on the shot by Cole Younger. 
trying to get to Jolker. Canucks now working in tight, bouncing puck. And Owen LaRock holding his own at 331. Bring us a stoppage in play. We got a 3-1 hockey game. Shots this frame five for the junior Canucks and four for the Pemina Valley Twisters. Off the draw, Twister's controlling with the puck. They'll try and work it out of the zone as the skirmish continues. So Griffin Hyatt trying to do otherwise with that, keeping it here in the attack zone for his St. James Canucks. Off a couple sticks. Played ahead to Clark. Here comes Clark. We got penalty to the Canucks coming up. Delay penalty as Clark clears it in. And as Gilbert touches it, he will have the call for you. It's a roughing call. Coming to William or Cole Younger, I can't tell. It's going to be to Younger, I think, because he's arguing it. <coughs> Here's a look at the replay of it. Excuse me again there. Uh, and it's a little bit behind the play there. You can't see it there. Sorry about that. Boy, also, the Twisters get power play number two for them. So far, 0 for 1. Didn't even get a shot in on Gilbert on their opening power play. There's a quick shot through traffic. It doesn't quite get it. It does get to Gilbert. Sure sounded like it did, and now registered on the board. Across to Bergman. Bergman. He'll play it and deflect it off a couple sticks on the shot by Kyle Van Dines, and that hits the ceiling. Bring us the stoppage in play at 246. Great opportunity here for the Twisters to get their power play going here and get back into this one. Their power play, of course, the best power play in the regular season. Finishing in around at the 20% mark. Bouncing puck. And picked up by Mason Vandell. Mason Vandell, another breakaway for him and it gets denied off the stick of Hepner. And Hepner now. He'll work it on the near side, a little bit off on that pass to Bergman. Bergman now to Kyle Van Dines. Van Dines working it ahead to, to Alex Van Dines. Alex Van Dines fires it just wide. Off the stick of Riley Gertzen. Back to Brett Bergman across at the line. Back to Bergman from Van Dines. Bergman waits. Looks. Fires. Save made. Rebound picked up by Van Dines. Deflected in that on net. And trying to glove that down was Mike Hepner. Kyle Van Dines now. He'll work it ahead, and Twisters come right back into the zone as Russell. Russell waits, looks, and he gets rubbed out by a Canuck. And in that skirmish for the puck, the Twisters still trying to control as they get back at the point and across to the grave all the way from Russell. Kale Price now trying to get it out of the zone. A good work by him, and he'll get it just out of the zone. Twisters now have to regroup. They circle back, 20 seconds remaining on the man advantage, and that's off the stick of Kale Price, and he tries to get it ahead on the go-ahead pass. That won't work for him, so instead it'll be the Twisters regrouping with Russell. Russell, he'll leave it back for Sutherland. Sutherland ahead to DeGrave. DeGrave into the zone for Sutherland. And power play has expired for the Twisters. Alone, three shots. There's a shot, and they score! And the Twisters are back within one. And finding the back of the net on that goal was DeGrave. And it's going to be DeGrave from Jolliker. Here's a look at the replay. And there's the shot from DeGrave in on net. So the Twisters, points leader in the postseason. Getting his first of the night, his first of the series. From Lucas Jolliker, and it's Merrick DeGrave giving the Twisters some life here with a minute 02 to go in the second frame. Knocks the clear right in off the draw. Hepner now, he'll play it out. To Neil, his quick shot gets deflected just wide and dangerous opportunities here for the Canucks early on. 
or right away. And here's the opportunity going the other way for the Twisters, walking in, firing, save made on that opportunity. <coughs> Still working with it. And now Gilbert holds on, and there's going to be some extra activity as Neil had his helmet knocked off. Let's see if we can see that here on the replay. As there's Neil with the tie up there with Clark. Yeah, and that puck's going to come out of the zone here. I don't know if it's going to stay in. I thought they were going to bring it out here. No penalties. As kind of what to expect from how they've been calling this game. As Kale Price having a little chat here with the linesmen before Slade Sutherland gets set. And oh, they're just waiting here on the make sure Gilbert's good to go after the action in his crease. Quick shot there by the Twisters. And the puck stays in the zone. Back to Carroll's. Carroll's playing it down low. That gets gloved down. And here's the opportunity for the Canucks going the other way. Whiteley off a couple sticks. Now picked up and played ahead by Alex Van Dynes. Into the zone. Van Dynes giving chase. Add Kalen Russell on the assist. Clear it in. There and trying to get a shot away there as the Canucks is a nice pass to set that one up by Kale Price. There's a quick shot by Gertzen and gloving and holding on almost at the horn. Point one seconds left is Gilbert and they'll just let that run out on the draw and they won't even do the draw as the horn rings. Right, is there a little bit of a discussion about that? We'll see if they put it on the final tenth of the second. I doubt that they will, and they'll send us here to intermission. So, a late goal from Merrick DeGrave and Lucas Jolker, as well as Kalen Russell on those assists. The only goal of the frame. Shots this period for the Canucks. They had a total of five shots, giving them a total of 12 through 40 minutes of play. Meanwhile, the Twisters, they, Twisters come in, their total shots were 11. This period for a total of 30 through 40. Twisters 0 for 2 on the power play with those two opportunities so far. And with that, we'll send you to your mission. I'm your host, Billy Brant, along with my cameraman, Josh Keck. Come and discover the warmth and hospitality of Morris, home of the thrilling Manitoba Stampede. Nestled as the central hub on Highway 75, Morris is more than a town. It's a thriving nexus of business and community, with new industrial opportunities ready to break ground. Join us and make Morris your next investment. Co-op is not a building, it's not a gas bar, a home center, or a food store. A co-op is a group of people working together to help each other. To feed, to fuel, to build community. This is where we work, this is where we live, this is who we are. We are early risers, we are trusted neighbors, we are committed to serving you. We are Co-op. Paul Brandt Trucking. A chance meeting years ago that turned into an incredible friendship. Turns out we have the same name. Now that's something that doesn't happen every day. But as I've had the opportunity to work with this exceptional award-winning company, I've come to understand that there is something that happens every day with Morris Manitoba's Paul Brandt Trucking. They deliver quality. Paul Brandt Trucking has helped me to do business better. My trucking company of choice since they first appeared in the Convoy video, their world-class fleet and personnel literally keep the show on the road delivering our gear and stage production each and every night. Congratulations, Paul Brandt Trucking, on 50 years of traditional values, modern methods, and for service with excellence on every single run. We'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye-bye.
Saving for your child's education doesn't need to be stressful. Access offers a wide range of investment options to help you and your family's future, like a registered education savings plan. With the flexibility to deposit any time throughout the year, you decide when and how much to contribute, making it easy to save for your child's education. Contact us today to start your savings plan so you can spend more time celebrating your child's future. Access Credit Union, where you need us to be.
And as both teams get ready here to take the ice for the start here of the third period, Twisters have some momentum to build on following a late goal in that last frame and seeing how they can use that here in this one as the Canucks try and take right where they left off after their strong start they had to this game and try and hold on and find some momentum with it to be able to hold on to this one goal lead and possibly make it two and get some insurance. And as both teams get it set in their tunnels and the linesmen and referees hit the ice, we'll be with you here down for the live action. Yeah, and I'm your host, Billy Brown, with my cameraman, Josh Keck. Do not miss a game of the MMJHL Finals. And we will have them all for you here. We're going to double check on those games so for you on St. James. Again, I'll make a note of that later. Talking to the G Show about it. He is going to try and do game three. So between me and him, we'll have all your games covered for you. Canucks here changing their starting lineup a little bit to start the period off. As they got William Hyatt and Mason Vandell out there. Bruce is back as we talked about that with he was a little bit shaking up after blocking that one shot along with Neil and Bergman and his line out there being the checking line out with Clark as well as Poet and that gets deflected and they're gonna stay off the stick of Poet. Into the zone, Dick Ed Hepner on the wings. Loose puck in front. Dangerous opportunity early on for the Twisters to start the third period. And Clark got caught on a change, and here's a chance for Neal going the other way, walking in. Just wide of the net. Play. Off a couple sticks to Neal. Neal, he'll play it ahead to Mason Vandell. Play it across. There's a quick shot by the Canucks just wide of the net. And the Canucks here, hot start to start off, though. The final frame of regulation as Paulette working it on the near side. Through traffic, now here comes to Grave. And Bruce now, he holds. Back to Kyle Van Dynes. Van Dynes, he'll play it into the zone. And Gilbert dangerously went out to play that. You've seen both goaltenders make a couple of shaky decisions. And this one is William picks it up, pressured by Jolliker as the Twisters had to tag. And here comes Kyle Van Dyne through traffic. He's got Weeb with him. And there's a shot off the glass. Just a little too high for the Twisters. Hyatt now going the other way. Hyatt walks in and he fires that one, deflected off of Jacob Carroll's stick and into the netting and out of play. Bring us our first stoppage in play here in the third at 18.36. Your shots through 40. Well, a recap there for you was 30 to 12. Shots this period are one apiece in favor of both teams. Kale Price off the draw. He'll win it back. Whiteley, he'll play that just wide of the net. Around behind the net for Kale Price. Off the end of the net. Kale Price, he'll get it on his stick. Off the stick of Cole Younger. He'll get picked up by Cohen Thomas. Cohen Thomas now. He'll play it past the stick of Brother Sight, and they'll have a little bit of a collision there as Whiteley works it across to Younger. And here come the Canucks working out of the zone on the near side. Price through traffic. Picked up by Dick and out of the zone quickly by the Twisters. Xander Carroll still pick it up into the zone and play it ahead off a couple sticks. Bouncing puck in front. The Canucks now settling it down and working it the other way comes Oscarman. Canucks got three. They'll play it across to Price. 
and diving down to make a great block there is Hepner. And Osterman just throws it into the zone before going for a change. Dick picks the puck up. Jonathan Dick from behind his own net. That's off a stick of a Canuck. Picked up by Neal. Good pressure there by Thoridson. Who broke that one up off a couple sticks there. Twisters can't get the tag. And that's going to be a nice thing as Gertzen couldn't get a stick on it. Bring us to stoppage in play here at 17-27. Remaining in regulation. Kale Price ready to go with off the draw now here. Price, he'll win that one. Quick shot by Whiteley around behind the net. And Price couldn't get a stick on that. Picked up by the Twisters here on the near side. And that's picked up by William in a dangerous area to Price. Price waits, goes all the way around behind the net, couldn't get a shot away, and the Twisters are able to clear that all the way down the ice, bring us a stoppage in play. Uh, there's another icing charge against the Twisters, dangerous opportunity there for the Canucks. Here's another dangerous opportunity for them on the two-on-one, or three-on-two, sorry, where Osterman got it, trying to get to Kale Price there, and a nice play there. I think that was Mike Kepner, couldn't exactly see the Twisters' number, who was able to lie out and have and create a nice roadblock to stop that good push there by the Canucks in front was Hyatt off the draw and the rock just freezes that and then you had the opportunity there with the wraparound by Price that couldn't get off a decent shot and the Twisters D doing a good job crashing the net and filling up the lanes as their goaltender was a little bit out of position on that one Around behind the nets, Van Dines. Van Dines plays it off of Jacob Carroll's. Hyatt now. He'll play it to Mason Vandell. And the Twisters will work it in out of the zone. All the way down the ice. Well, that get picked off by Whiteley. Whiteley now pressured by Clark. And Cody Clark tries to make a hit there on Bray Whiteley. And Whiteley continues on now with the steam coming into the zone. And broken up off a couple of Twister sticks. William now. He'll take a quick shot. And bouncing puck. Coming in towards the net. Hits a couple bodies in front. Now Clark with possession. He'll work it in. Hard skate here for Mark Poet. Poet had it on his stick for a bit. And he got taken off the play. Nice play there by Phillips. To have that done. As Mason Vandell now tries to go up the middle. Almost a little bit of a breakaway. Would have been his third if he could have got a stick on it. Osterman is shot from a tough angle. And quick shot there by Hyatt. Really close to being a high stick there. Waved off though by the referee. We plays it across to the grave. The grave into the zone. Onside for the Twisters. And the Twisters play it back to Russell. Russell walks in and he'll roll that one all the way around behind the net. Anderson's back there. He'll play it across to Phillips. Phillips trying to work it on the near side. Controlled by Cole Younger and he'll fire that in on net. And the Rock will hold. For a faceoff at 15:33, I'm your host Bentley Brown, with my cameraman Josh Keck, bringing you tonight's MMJHL action between the Twister, the Pemba Valley Twisters, and the St. James Junior Canucks, playing for the Jack McKenzie Trophy for the third time against each other in the last four playoff rounds or playoffs seasons that there have been playoffs, is what I was trying to say there. So I eat my own words. Still working with it. Price, he'll play across and a quick flash of the leather. Look at that on that replay there from LaRock. And he quickly waves that leather as they try to go top shelf on that opportunity. Off the draw. Twisters, they'll work it ahead. Twisters come here on the near side. And off the glass and ahead by Bergman to Clark. Clark waits. He'll play back to Dick and that shot just wide of the net. And the Canucks, they'll send it all the way down and they'll have just enough for an icing at 15.06. Shots this frame are six for the St. James Canucks. Meanwhile, Pemmon Valley Twisters only with one. Of 
Twisters win off the draw here in the offensive zone. There's a quick shot, and that's the sound you don't want to hear off the end boards. Picked up now by Van Dines. This quick shot, and that opportunity there, gloved down by Neal and played out of the zone. And a good work there by Osterman as trying to glove that down was Jacob Carroll's. Now Younger comes in, and that hit will bump him off the puck. Walking in, taking a quick shot as the Canucks. They can work it now. They work it back to Ironson. Ironson shot through traffic wide of the net. Gertzen, he'll play it around behind, and the Twisters get caught flat-footed there. But lucky for them, there's no Canucks pressuring as Ironson picks it up. He'll play it in to Chase Sobey, and beating him on that one was Carroll, so playing it all the way across, and that puck gets cleared into the zone where Ironson picks it up there behind his own net. Sobey now off the stick to Sutherland. Sutherland in front, across for Weeb. Weeb couldn't get a shot away. Weeb circling around behind the net. Back to Kyle Van Dines. Across. There's a quick shot by the Twisters just wide of the net. Anderson. He now plays that up and out of play. And we got a quick change going here before the whistle. 14 minutes exactly on the clock here in the frame. St. James Canucks still leading on their big lead they built up early on in the, or in the first period by a score of 3 to 2. Off the draw, Canucks with the puck on their stick, working around behind the net. They clear it off towards Price and Wood chasing it down. Picked up and controlled by Kalen Russell. Russell now pressuring his man as Price plays it back towards William who is pinned by Russell. Twister's working to Weeb, and Weeb gets it out of the zone. Good hustle there by Wood, and Wood forks it ahead. Pressured by a couple cannot by a Canuck. William plays it back behind the net. Picked up by Joker. And that puck pops up into the zone. Picked up by Weeb and Weeb's quick shot off of Gilbert and O to play. Great opportunity going there for the Twisters. Twisters now changing up their forward line. As Xander Carroll's Riley Gertzen and Cohen Thomas skate in for the draw. And Hyatt beats. Carroll's off the draw, and that puck gets blocked by a twister. Twister have to tag at the line where the Canucks work it in on the near side. Mason Vandell plays it ahead all the way down the ice. Icing waved off. As both teams have been a little bit careless about some of the icing calls, as Gertzen works it ahead off a couple sticks. Mason Vandell chipping it ahead to Hepner. Hepner runs into trouble and just plays it in instead. Xander Carroll's now chasing down Gilbert. Gilbert plays it the other way to Bruce and trying to deflect it in, and they're going to say Mason Vandell did touch it. And Twister's cleared in off the stick of Gertzen, and this time they're going to say it did not get touched. And Gertzen just verifying that there with the linesman. Can't really believe it, as we talked about they're still continuing to arguing some of the icings here. 12.29 on the clock here. And what has been a packed house here. And they have been showing a really good hockey game, just as we have thought it would be very close. One goal difference here in the third as that puck gets cleared off the draw by the Twisters. Icing waved. And Anderson holding on with the puck. Anderson now behind his net. He'll work it ahead on the near side to Cole Unger. And Platt trying to break that up. Unger stays with it. And he'll play it across. Walking against Whiteley. Puck bounces up. And the goaltender goes down. Controlled now here by the Twisters. Twisters working it on the other side. As they walk into the zone comes Bergman. He'll work that around. And the Canucks now going the other way. Osterman gets rubbed out of play. LaRock plays it across. And up to Poulette. Poulette now to Russell. And Russell through traffic. He'll play it around all the way behind the net, digging at it now on the far side, trying to get to it. It's Van Dines. Van Dines now, he'll turn a little bit off his pass. 
And the Rock had to be careful of how he played that one. And Brossite, he'll play it in at the line. Still digging at it is the Canucks and in the skirmish now for the puck. Picked up by Alex Van Dyne. He'll work it to Gertson. Bradley Gertson walks in. Tries to center that one and too many bodies in front. Picked up by the Canucks. Here come the Canucks going the other way. Some fast pace back and forth hockey possibly coming here with a couple of rushes and a good chase back by Russell against Thornison. And the Canucks play that out of play. It's going to be off the twister stick. It'll come into the zone at 10:49. And Hyatt rolls in for the draw, and a little bit of a tango there. With DeGrave, Twisters though controlling as DeGrave works it ahead to Weeb and off the stick of Jolliker into the zone. Uh, the puck rolling up, picked up by Jolliker. He'll work it back to the point to Hepner. Hepner now walks in. He'll wait, pull it around behind the net. And Hepner gets taken down, controlled by the Twisters. Trying to work it out to Jolliker off a couple sticks. Still working with it, and that comes just out of the zone. Mason Vandell picks it up, and here comes Vandell walking in back to William. Quick shot and a quicker save there by the Rock. Mason Vandell with the puck on his stick, and he gets away from some traffic and able to hold the zone just barely as the Canucks. They walk into the slot trying to get that to William. That won't go. Off a couple sticks. Weeb trying to work it out. And Weeb chasing down Willian. I got picked up by Mason Vandell. He gets taken down. No call on the play. And there's a couple St. James fans and coaching staff not too happy about that play. Canucks working with it here in their own zone. And they're going to turn that one almost over. Quick hustle there to continue on with it as Guilford was chasing down Price. So he was able to put it into the zone and holding on for a whistle. Is on the rock at 9:22. Shots of spear two for the Pan Valley Twisters. Meanwhile, nine for the St. James Junior Canucks. Price set against Bergman in the circle. I say wait to drop with the frozen biscuit, and that's going to be picked up by Jacob Carroll's off the stick of Poet and all the way down the ice and that should be an icing. You never know how this game's been going though as these linesmen have got it from the fans and coaching staff so far in this one. And so their calls. Price in again the draw again. Bergman wins it and the Twisters controlling the defensive zone. But just over nine to go off the back of the skate of Clark and right back into the twister zone where Jacob Carroll's will corral the puck and he'll work that ahead off the stick of Poet and right in front and Gilbert holds on for a whistle with Poet chasing him down. So not much offense here from this Twisters team in this third period. Only three shots for them. They need to get something going here. Down by one on the clock. They only need, or on the board, they only need one shot, though, to do that. As Carroll's works around, and there's an opportunity just wide of the net. Jacob Carroll's, he'll wait. Played off the stick of Phillips. And bouncing puck, getting it out of the zone is Chase Sobey. Picked up now by Van Dynes, Alex Van Dynes from Kyle Van Dynes to Raleigh Gertson. Gertson back to Van Dynes. He can't find it in his feet, and it's going to get picked up by Mason Vandell and out of the zone where the other 25 on the ice are as Sobey. So I played it out as Sutherland plays it back into the zone. And Raleigh Gertson giving chase. Sobey with the puck on his stick. He'll work that ahead. And the Twisters can't hold the zone. That puck comes all the way down the ice, and it's an icing against the Canucks at 8.08. 
the grave set here on the draw trying to get something going against the tired Canucks team off the icing and they fire that one just wide in the net Wood he'll center that into the slot that rolled just wide the net Gilbert had to be careful there as that came his way still working through traffic as Weeb and he lost his edge Russell he'll fire that in on net that gets blocked by Canuck in front into the feet of Weeb walking his joker shot save made on that opportunity and Brock Wood he'll play it in down low and get it right back at the top of the point across to Russell Russell moves over to the high slot walks in tries to fire and fires it into some shin pads and that's not the person you want with the puck on their stick is Neil but Neil will just clear it in before going for a change and we couldn't hold on to the puck there as the skirmish continues for the puck William scoops it up instead and Hyatt plays it into the zone Deck behind the net. He'll work it off the stick of Wood in the Canucks control in the attack zone. Trying to center that one. Broken up there by the two of Xander Carrolls. Einerson at the line trying to hold it. And that's going to be delayed offside as the Twisters play it ahead the other way. And picked up by Mason Vandell. He'll play that cross off a Twister stick of Cohen Thomason into the zone. Dick. Now he'll work here. Gets tagged up there with another Canuck. And again, can't get it past Younger off his blade. Still working with it. And Griffin Hyatt, he'll work it to Younger. Younger circles, giving him some space and time against Cohen Thomas. Back across from the point to Einerson. Einerson looks, fires. Gertson blocks it. And there's a shot in that rebound. Picked up by Xander Carrolls and the tired Twisters group out there can't clear it out. And now Gertson gets it out before heading for a change. Cohen Thomas still out there applying pressure before calling for a change. And Ireson plays it into the zone. Hepner now behind the net for the Twisters. He'll turn that right over onto the stick of Kale Price. He'll fire it in the other way towards Osterman. Picked up by the 26 of Kyle Van Dines to Mike Hepner now behind the net. 5.45 and right to the slot for Kale Price and he fires and a save made on that opportunity from Owen LaRock as Price didn't make the most of that opportunity I thought he could have got a little bit of a better shot selection there Twister's clear it down does not hit the roof just skims it Bergman he'll circle back make some space and time here with 15 with 5.15 on the clock before turning it over and Brotherside he'll play it across and uh, still working at it there as Jordy tries to play it ahead and the skirmish for the puck continues picked up by Clark and Clark just sends it into the zone and goes for a change there's the twisters and Brotherside he'll turn that over to Weeb Weeb now here on the miscommunication by St. James across to Jacob Carroll's firing just wide of the net Carrolls, he'll work it, and outworking him is Chase Sobey. Here comes Sobey, pressure by Russell, and that's picked off by Weeb. And here comes Weeb, he'll wait. Played across by Phillips, and bouncing puck. Calm down here by the Pemina Valley Twisters. 4.20 to go as DeGrave walks in. And... Mason Vendell making his job to take him out of the play. Meanwhile, Weeb chasing down Mason Vendell, and that's picked off by Jolliker, and Jolliker couldn't get a shot away. Great back check by the Canucks. Mason Vendell now, he turns Dick inside out, walks in, and a pad save on the opportunity. By LaRock. Twisters now with the puck in the defensive zone, trying to get it out. Looking very tired out there as Jolliker works it to Weeb. Weeb walks in with the grave. Here comes Weeb and off the stick of Phillips. And the Canucks, they'll work it on the near side. Here comes Griffin Hyatt with speed. Hyatt with speed again. Coming in around. Centers into the slot. Shot, save made. Rebound. Puck skips up in the air. And Gertzen now. He'll try and kick it ahead into the zone past Einerson. And Hyatt can't pick that puck up. He couldn't find it. Hepner put it the other way. And Einerson now walks in with it getting bumped down by Hepner. Picked up by Alex Van Dines, 3.15 to go. Van Dines, he'll send that all the way down the ice. 
off the stick of Whiteley. And Gertzen, he gets tangled up into the boards. St. James able to get it out of the zone here for a bit as the Twisters play some tic-tac-toe as this place calms down with under three to go. Off the stick of Van Dynes into the zone out of the reach there of the goalkeeper and still working with it. Digging for that loose puck. And the Canucks send it all the way down. They're going to get charged on the icing. And they were hoping that that was going to be said that that was going to be deflected. So 2.35 on the clock here. Shots are 34 to 23, giving you your period totals of only four for the Pemna Valley Twisters. Meanwhile, 11 for the Canucks. Off the draw. Working with it here on the near side. And I'll be watching the net at the other side of the ice. Prostadal with it, he'll play it up to Price. Price ahead and playing that into the zone is Osterman. LaRock goes out to play it with 2.15 on the clock. Ahead to Poet. And that gets turned over and Price plays it right back into the zone. 2.05 on the clock. Twister's here trying to mount a comeback as Russell walks into the zone. Goaltender still staying. There's the Rock centering across and the Twisters had no one there to get the shot off. And now that puck chipped up and out of play at 151. And they're going to say it's going to be off a twister. It's going to come out of the zone. And it's going to be a timeout here taken by Brayden Bernards. As he'll try and draw something up for his team here. Got a minute 51 to go in regulation. It's the Canucks up by a score of 3-2. to two. And very similar here to how game one went, except just with the teams reversed here. It's gone both ways for the visitors so far on their side of play. In a game that the Twisters had always trailed from the start of the scoring, seeing if they can come back in this one and tie it up. The Rock set in his net. Still, as the Canucks fans come alive here in the Morse Multiplex. 151 on the clock. And controlled now here by Weeb. And they're going to say hand pass. And Van Dyne's not too happy about that, as well as the Twisters bench. And the officials here trying to sort out where the, they did get the draw correct now as they almost dropped it. It was a hand pass charge against the Twister, so it should be at their side. And big hit there. To give the Twister something to cheer about. And we have a penalty coming up here to the Twisters. We're going to see what it is. It's going to be on that hit. I don't know what they called Russell on as he's arguing it. It's going to be for head contact. Here's a look at the replay for y'all. And it's going to be tough to tell if you don't slow that one there down. There's the hit. As the Canucks call their timeout here. And a hit like that, you have to give the benefit of the doubt there to the referee if yeah, you can't slow that one down from that angle, especially at that, such a size difference. And... Looks like there might have been a couple other words shared in between the referees and, or the Twister Stip players and referees. 
Got two twisters there in the box. Trying to see the other number. I can't. Looks like it's Russell and DeGrave. Whiteley with the puck. 134. So they're going to give him misconduct along with the head contact. And picked up now here into the zone. Weeb waits. Controlling. Empty net for the Pemina Valley Twisters. No, LaRock still out there. And LaRock, quick hustle by him. Two on one going the other way. And he robs the Canucks on their opportunity with the applaud of the fans. With a minute 09 left. We've seen it from Gilbert at the other day with the game on the line this time. We see it here with LaRock with the game on the line down by one making the save. He had a brilliant save also just before, or he had a brilliant save the other night too. And there's another one in his books. Off the draw. Working with it now here, Twister's controlling. Long stretch pass, one minute to go. And Gertson, he'll play it into the zone. Picked up by DeGrave. Center's in front, still working with it. Picked up now by the Twisters is Hepner. Now Weep, he'll calm it down with 40 seconds to go. Picked off by Kale Price, and he'll try and fire that in at the empty net. Hepner just gloves that right down and plays it across quickly. Twisters, they got to get going here with 30 seconds to go. And they'll fire that into the zone. They got five on five hockey with the empty net and a St. James power play. I'll put the banner up there for you. And that gets cleared all the way down. Will it have enough? Yes, it will. And, well, that would have been a questionable call there. Canucks fans not arguing it, though, or coaching. But it had just enough juice to make it down there. 19.4 on the clock. Shots are 34-24 in favor of Pemina Valley. Down by one. Empty net. At the other end of the ice. And off the draw. Sutherland trying to work it back. Hepner his shot just wide of the net. And in the tie up there, picked up by Van Dines. He couldn't get a shot away. Weeb now trying to get a shot away. Tie up, jamming at it, still loose, and they couldn't find the back of the net. As the scrum continues in front, and that puck gets cleared all the way down into the net. And it's a goal for the Canucks, but meanwhile, we got Kale Price. That's going to do it. And this one going out with Weeb. It's going to be a 4 2 finals. They'll let the clock run out here. And this one. The Canucks even up the series here, four to two, and there might be some suspensions coming before game three. It's all said and done. And I don't have your goal scorer there for that empty net. I didn't see who fired it down there. But we'll be with you here for your three stars of the ice shortly. We're just going to wait to hear what the, till they finish here. As they continue to go at it. And now, both teams will head off the ice. And now, as the fight continues here with some of the fans getting into it and Graham Beanard's there right away, taking care of things, and with that, we'll quickly flip. 
away here to intermission and we'll get over here. We'll flip here to the season series and with this you can mark that game two as a 4-2 Canucks win for the visitors and with that like I said we'll head to our three stars third period scoring they have not listed it yet that empty net goal so with that we'll head to today's three stars Starting it off from your Saint J from the St. James Junior Canucks, the third star of the game. He started the scoring off. He had a goal and assist in this one. Number 25, Mason Matthew Mason Vandell. Another hard worker in this one, and he got rewarded with two goals thanks to his quick hands and his quick speed. From the St. James Junior Canucks, your second star of tonight's game, with two goals. Number four, Roy Neal. And your first start in tonight's game. End off the night with 32 saves, picking up the win for the St. James Canucks and evening up the series. The starting goaltender from the St. James Junior Canucks, number 30, Noah Gilbert. And with that, I'm your host, Bentley Brandt, along with my cameraman, Josh Keck. Game three will be televised, like I said, by the G Show or on here, depending on how that works out and we'll get you more information on that as soon as we can. I know the G Show is going to try and do that and we'll work with them. Game four will be televised right back here. And game five, again, me and the G Show, we'll try and get that worked out and get those games for you covered in St. James. With that signing off, I'm your host, Bentley Brandt, and with my cameraman, Josh Keck. It's the St. James Junior Canucks nodding the series up with a 4-2 win against the Pennant Valley Twisters.